ग्राउंडेड थेरी रिसर्च और ग्राउंडेड अप्रोच टू रिसर्च इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वालिटेटिव टाइप ऑफ रिसर्च दिस रिसर्च दिस टाइप ऑफ रिसर्च वॉज पाइन ईयर बाय ग्लेसर एंड स्ट्रॉस इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सेवन हु वॉन्टेड टू इस्टेब्लिश द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ क्वालिटेटिव एक्सप्लोरेटरी रिसर्च स्टडीज इन दिस प्रजेंटेशन वी वुड डिस्कस वट इज ग्राउंडेड थेरी रिसर्च वाई इज इट दैट we need to do grounded theory research in certain situations and how uh, is actually grounded theory research conducted in other words what is the process involved in the grounded theory research so these are the questions that we will respond to in this presentation so first of all what is grand grounded theory research well this is research that aims at the inductive development of theory grounded in systematic collection and analysis of empirical data what happens in this uh, type of research is that generally as we know that in uh, certain researches Uh, theories are tested and those researches are often quantitative researches with positivistic paradigms in grounded theory research uh, the opposite happens and the focus of the study is actually collecting data and analyzing data in order to um, develop theories that are actually grounded in our data and this is uh, categorized as i said in the beginning this is categorized in qualitative exploratory type of social researches the basic aim of grounded theory approaches is uh, to social researches is actually uh, to understand and explore possible relationships between social phenomena or to get insights to uh the social phenomena or the factors that are interacting in terms of relating social phenomena and so uh now why is it that we need to do grounded theory studies well grounded theory researches are conducted when an area of knowledge does not have sufficient theoretical base and so the aim of this particular approach is to come up with theory that is grounded in empirical data rather than to get theory and apply it in empirically so or to test theory actually when theory needs to be generated first hand and grounded in our the- in our data uh, rather than testing or confirming uh, theory that is where we need to use to take the grounded theory approach to research um and so uh, we can say that uh, Uh, this is exploratory in nature because we do not have sufficient ground sufficient empirical evidence related to particular situations or phenomena social uh, situations or phenomena and as a result we adopt this particular re- research approach now how which actually means the process of grounded theory approach the process of research generally begins with data collection in response to uh, our research questions or hypotheses so some people might even uh, suggest that grounded theory approaches do not have 
uh, pre-planned research questions or hypotheses. So maybe the, the initial research questions or hypotheses are not clearly stated. But there are certain questions in the, on the minds of the researchers, certain tentative hypotheses. And in, res in response to those, the researchers start collecting data. The data is generally collected through interviews and observations, but in some cases, um, quantitative data collection tools might also be used, and that include questionnaires. Then the data collection, the, the process actually is that the data collection analysis, then the coding of the, the data in the light of our analysis, and categorizing refining those categories and that ultimately leads to the generation of theory. Um, the most, one of the most important concepts in the grounded theory approach is the concept of theoretical sampling. So as we know that generally in most quantitative studies with positivistic paradigms, um, samples are pre-decided, but in the grounded theory approaches, what happens is that the collection and analysis of data goes on till the saturation of the information or the themes that, are, that, are, that, that we get as a result of the continuous process of data collection and analysis. So the emergence of a theory that is substantially stable and further data collection does not lead to further insights regarding the issue. Uh, so when the researchers um, are sure and they decide that further data collection is not needed, um, they stop. So this whole process is called the process of theoretical sampling, which means um, carry on with data collection expanding the sample till the researchers get to a point where they think that uh, some kind of a theory has been developed. And so that point is called the saturation point. Now, the how of the grounded theory research also uh, has this process of data analysis. So what happens in the data analysis process in grounded theory. So there are three distinct processes that have been associated with the data analysis stage of the, uh, it's not a stage, it actually is, it runs throughout the process. And so that's called the open coding uh, step and the axial coding and the selective coding. What is open coding? Detailed line-by-line -line reading and coding of the data forming subcategories and categories. So, for example, the researcher collects data through interviews. Then they transcribe those interviews and then uh, the first interview actually. And then they code it, which means they, they note and underline important ideas and concepts and they give them, them certain names that, they, that, that, that uh, can be called as codes. And during this process, the process of constant comparative analysis happens, which, which actually means that the codes that are coming in, the categories, the themes that are coming in, are constantly compared against each other and against the, the incoming data and also against the objectives of, of the study. Then the second stage is the axial coding, coding which actually means that the, the, at this stage, identification or, of connections and the relationship between categories or concepts. So the categories that have been identified at the open coding stage uh, are now interconnected and so the researchers reflect on the interconnectivity of those um, categories. And the last one, the last process in the data analysis stage is 
the selective coding. So what happens is that at the final stage of coding, when all categories of data are associated with one big idea, that is one core category or the essence of your research.